What's up you guys, welcome back to Sinister Bunny Studios, your go-to channel for heavy metal content. And today I'm going to be addressing a question that I've thought about for the longest time, ever since I have ever wanted to buy any type of gear ever, and I still do to this day. And the question is, is it worth buying equipment and gear that you want as soon as it comes out? So normally, you know, this is not a kind of video that I would make normally because I want to make things all around music and stuff, but I've been in such a creative itch lately with making music and videos and stuff that things like this, I feel like are video worthy at this point and it gives you guys cool things to discuss and watch and learn about on my end and it gives me another way to interact with you guys and just communicate about different things other than music, even though this is, you know, a music based channel, you know, there's a lot of things that go into it, making videos and the music videos that I do and stuff. It's just, it's more than just the music aspect. I do a lot of video work and in video editing and stuff like that. So that kind of gear matters in the sense of making YouTube content or any kind of, um, like social media content. So it, it's relevant. It's highly, highly relevant. And the only reason why I'm posing this question is because I recently bought a new piece of gear and it's really, really cool because I've wanted one for a very long time and it was just kind of like a situation where things lined up perfectly and I acted on it. But let me explain a little bit. So growing up, my brother and I would get like new gaming consoles, right? But it would be year a year or more after it actually came out that way the price goes down because you know we weren't like a rich family or anything like that we couldn't just buy everything all the time and I guess it taught us a little bit of not being spoiled which I think was good uh, because we didn't get everything as soon as it came out and even with video games themselves if we didn't buy them ourselves if we wanted like my dad to buy us something it would have to wait till the price goes down he never would want to pay a full price for video games or anything like that and that's rubbed off on me because I the last two games that I've paid full price for um, were Doom Eternal. When that came out, I bought that full price. And the Call of Duty Cold War, I bought that full price. Those are the last two games in probably the last five years that I've bought at full $60 price. Um, just because of how hyped it was and I was able to play it with my brother and stuff. That's how we still hang out and whatnot. But that's besides the point. Um... And I'm still this way, so I, I always try to find ways to get cheaper options. Um, and the biggest thing is just saving money, especially because, you know, I'm technically poor. I'm a poor college student, recently graduated, still finding my way through the world and whatnot. And, you know, I can't just go spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars for new pieces of gear. Um, and so let me explain after I show you the piece of gear that I got. So I've wanted one of these for a very, 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 very long time. And I've waited for the right opportunity. I've done a lot of research on them. And the stars kind of aligned the other day. And I acted on it. So what I got is a GoPro. And this, if you can read the side there, is the GoPro Hero 7 Black. Now, this is not the latest rendition of the GoPro. Because I think, as of this year, they're on GoPro Hero 9, I believe. And... But at the same time, this is such a powerful little camera. It does up to 4K quality at 60 frames a second. And then you can do like 1080p at 240 frames a second for like super good slow motion and stuff like that. It's got super smooth, hyper smooth stabilization. And it's this little pocket size camera with a bajillion accessories that you can get for it. And it's all bells and whistles. And I got it at such a great deal. So when this came out initially, I think it was probably four or five hundred dollars when it first came out. And I've been wanting a GoPro for a long time, and I've been trying to find cheaper solutions online and all that fun stuff. And it just never seemed worth it for the price that I found online. And uh, recently on the Facebook Marketplace in my local area, there was somebody who had a couple GoPros for sale. They had a GoPro Hero 5, a GoPro Hero 6, and a GoPro Hero 7 Black. Um, and they wanted different different values for each one. I think the GoPro Hero 5 was the first one I went for because that would be the cheapest. And um, I was going back and forth with the guy messaging him, and I talked him down to like 125 bucks or something like that. And unfortunately, he ended up messaging me again after I had seen he had another listing for the GoPro Hero 6 and messaged him about that and talked him down to 
$125 for the GoPro Hero 6, which is the same price he had the 5 listed for. Um, but, um, so he ended up messaging me going, hey, just so you know, I was in contact with somebody who had a confirmed COVID case, uh, uh, test or whatever. And I was like, well, shit, I don't want to be around that. And he, I was like, are you in quarantine? He's like, yeah, I'm quarantining until this next weekend, which is this weekend after this comes out. And I'm like, okay, well, I'll think about it. I'll wait till your quarantine's over before I talk to you again or whatever, blah, blah, blah. Then that same day, I see another listing post up. It said like an hour, less than an hour ago on the marketplace. It was this GoPro Hero 7 Black and it was listed for $150. And I messaged the guy, asked him about it. It was like never really used. It sat in the box. He got it as a gift from his work and he just thought he was going to use it as a webcam and never used it. It's just sat around and uh, he messed with it a little bit, but never really did anything with it. And I talked him down to $100. Picked it up. He was, I make, made everything clear with like COVID and stuff. He was not in contact. I'm not in contact. And we did it safe. We wore masks. We were in very open area. We parked far away from each other. I had disinfectant stuff. So when he, before he handed it to me, I sprayed it down and cleaned it up and everything. And, 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 and made sure when I got home, I left it out for a while, disinfected it more, washed my hands. I took a shower. Like I did all the precautions that you would want to take. And now I have a relatively new model GoPro, the best version of the seven hero seven you can get, because if you don't know, the GoPros have like different colors, white, silver, and black versions of each one. So there's like GoPro hero seven, white GoPro hero seven, silver GoPro hero seven black. And the white is like the more budget option with less features. The silver is like the mid range one. And then the black is like the top tier fanciest one right and um so i got a very expensive gopro which is like in amazing condition nothing is wrong with it for a hundred dollars and all it took was just some waiting and you know i made do with what i had at the time but now i can do some cool stuff with this and all it does is take patience and i've tried to you know think to myself about why that is and it's just in terms of the GoPro world, I don't think it's worth paying four or five hundred dollars for a new GoPro when it comes out. Only because, yes, this shoots 4K 60 frames a second, but it's also a GoPro, you know, and it's it's a small sensor and whatnot. So it's not going to look as good as like an actual camera that shoots 4K because it just it's not the same. But it is still very powerful, and. Uh, it, it's just I'm just so excited because I have so many ideas to to use this with and I'm going to get I'm going to order like an accessory kit on Amazon. I'm researching different ones so that I can have different attachments and stuff so I can attach it to my guitar, attach it everywhere, do weird angles. I could take this out and record things all the time with me. If I go anywhere away from home, I can record on this instead of bringing my camera and that whole rig. All I got to do is throw this in my pocket and I'm good to go to talk to you guys. It's got the super wide angle lens and everything like it was such an awesome instance of like the, everything lining up perfectly and yeah. Okay. A hundred dollars is still a decent amount of money, but it's better than $500 for this new and ooh, look at that. I'm getting, ooh, I was flashing the lens with this, like the light reflecting, but at any, at any rate, that's just, it's cool. I don't know. I, this video may seem like a weird ramble to you guys or something. Maybe I'm just, rambling about something cool which is fine to me it's content you guys get to learn about me a little more you can see me excited about new gear you can see a behind the scenes instance of me getting new gear it's just it's a cool thing that's all i mean it's it's just it is what it is and i think for me to really show you guys some coolness with this um i don't know how well this is going to work or if i can even um Use this because of the, 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 the file format this might be. My editing software might not support it. I have it at 4K, 30 frames a second right now. And I will record myself to end this out with you guys. And I just switched it to camera mode by accident. Um, but I will switch this over to video mode and record myself for the outro with the GoPro. Just to show you guys what it can do. And then... Um, yeah, so this was a fun rant. 
Thanks for listening to me talk and be excited about new gear and stuff. I've got some cool new stuff that I should talk about um, later on, too, sitting over here on my desk, some stuff from Christmas and whatnot, and I'll talk about that, too, at uh, some later point, probably. But, <clears throat> again, I want to remind you guys, I'm about to end this with the GoPro, so let's actually turn that on now. And now we're recording on the GoPro, so... I want to remind you guys, if you're watching this far, thank you so much for sticking around and listening to me talk. I want to remind you that now I'm starting to do some streaming on Twitch with behind-the-scenes work on songs and music and actually recording stuff. And just hanging out and doing some fun, cool things with stuff that I do with this channel. So if you are interested in that kind of thing, go to Sinister Bunny Studios on Twitch and follow me there. And um, I think it's twitch.tv slash Sinister Bunny Studios. And uh, join in for some of the fun. But other than that, thank you guys so much for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And I will see you in the next video. Stay metal, my friends. It's so cool.